The marginal rate of technical substitution shows the relation between inputs and the trade-offs amongst them without changing the level of total output. When using common inputs, such as capital and labor, the marginal rate of technical substitution can be obtained using the following formula. As you can see, the formula is the negative relation between the derivative of one input, labor, in terms of the derivative of the other, capital. It is negative because the marginal rate of technical substitution corresponds to the slope of the isoquants, which have a decreasing slope. It is worth mentioning that we can also obtain the marginal rate of technical substitution using partial differentiation and expressing it in terms of marginal product of each input. Nevertheless, for simplicity's sake, it is common to note this formula in its absolute value form. As we can see, the absolute value of the marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to the marginal product of capital divided by the marginal product of labor. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, shows the amount of capital consumed, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, shows the amount of labor consumed. This represents a common isoquant curve. The curve joins points where a constant number of output is produced by using different combinations of inputs. At this specific point, we need 10 units of capital and 2 of labor in order to produce a given amount of output. However, if we move along the curve, we get different input combinations, but always the same produced output. This relation gives us the marginal rate of technical substitution between these inputs, which is the slope of the curve in each of its points. An increase in production will only come when we displace the isoquant curve upwards. Our second set of isoquant curves are graphical representations of factors of production which are perfect substitutes. As we can see, the isoquant lines are parallel 45 degrees negatively sloped lines. The marginal rate of technical substitution is always constant and equal to 1. In this case, a firm seeking to maximize profits will use the cheapest factor of production, as it will report the same productivity as the other, but for a lower price. Our last example of isoquant curves shows the graphical representation of complementary inputs. Production will only be increased when both factors are increased in the same proportion. In this case, the vertical fragment of each indifference curve has a marginal rate of technical substitution equal to infinite, while the horizontal fractions have a marginal rate of technical substitution equal to zero. To sum up, the marginal rate of technical substitution measures the trade-offs between inputs when analyzing production. Therefore, it will vary depending on the properties of each production function.